you want to learn how to make an awesome memory slideshow on wonder share tomorrow just like the one you're watching right now then stay with me i'll show you how in this video i'm going to show you how to create this awesome memory slideshow in minutes before we proceed if you're new here consider subscribing for more awesome video like this So let's start by importing our media. Import all the photos and images you're gonna be using. I already have my in my media, so you can import yours. When you're done with importing all your images and photos, the next thing we need to do is to drag one to the timeline. And we're gonna use this for our background. So let's first of all crop it if it's. So this is what we're gonna use for our background, but for we need to add some blur to it. So go to effects, search for square blur, drag and drop it on the image. As you can see, our image is a little bit blur, but we need make some adjustment right there. So double click on it and go to the settings and let's adjust it and get exactly what we want a little bit blowish something like this so this is what we're gonna use for our background you can adjust it just the way you want it so now we have our background all right the next step is to crop resize and align our images so let's drag down all the images we're gonna use to the timeline one after the other or you can highlight them and drag them down then adjust them so these are all the images we're gonna be using so double click on the first image and let's go to transform change the scale to 40 so click on effects and go to utility and let's add border to our image drag and drop border on the image and as you can see we have border applied to our image double click on the image and let's go to settings let's change it to theory depending on what you want anyway so we have border added to our image so instead of doing it one after the other let's right click on the first image and copy effects and then highlight the other images and right click and paste effects and all the effects on the first image will automatically apply to all the other images so now we have all our images cropped with border applied to it so it's time to align our images so all you need to do is to go to the screen drag and drop the images on different sides just the way you want it take your time and align it properly you don't have to do exactly the same thing but you can do just the way you want it just use your imagination okay drag it to the side and align it properly just the way you want it so take your time and do it right now the next step is to take a snapshot click the camera icon right there and take a snapshot and here is our snapshot highlight all the images on the timeline and click delete and delete them because we don't need them anymore all right it's time for animation so let's drag down the snapshot image to the timeline we can expand it a little bit then let's click on this icon on this crop icon click on pan and zoom in pan and zoom we have two windows there the start and the finish so we want the zooming to start from the middle so align it to capture the picture in the middle Then swipe by clicking this icon right there and this is what we have now we can use two seconds or five seconds depending on what you want and you slide it right there now this is what we have now click on the second part of the image and go back to crop and zoom click on crop and zoom then this is the start and the wider window is the end now let's minimize the end to capture another image that's the image we want to move to so align it to capture that image exactly so the image will start from the middle and slide to the end just like this great so go for two seconds or five seconds and split it then go back to crop and zoom 
move the start window to another image where you want it to end so align it right there then go back and click that icon to swipe it so the image will start from the last from the previous one and move to the new one just like this so slide the image and go back and do the same thing so basically that's how you apply zoom and animation to your image just go through them one after the other by moving the window to the image you want to slide to and you can click that icon to to swipe it just take your time and do it one after the other all right this is the last part and this last part we want to zoom out so expands one of the window and swipe it. Make sure it starts from the middle and expands to the wider window, just like this. And the last part, we want to zoom out completely. So one of the window, minimize it to the, to the smallest size and the other window should remain open. So it will start from the open window and end with the closed window, just like this. Step. let's preview it and see what we have so far isn't it awesome All right, the next thing we need to do is to add transition. So click on transition and click on 3D. So we're gonna apply some of this transition randomly. You don't have to be too precise here, but it's, it's very important to check the movement of your images so that the transition you're gonna apply will move together. So go through the images one after the other and the transition drag and drop in between the images one after the other. All right, let's reduce the duration. So double click on the transition and let's reduce the duration right here. When you're done, you click on apply to all so that it will apply to all the other transition. And now we have equal duration. Let's preview it and see what we have. If you find this video valuable, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, click that subscribe button to support the channel. And don't forget to leave a comment below. Tell us what you want to see more on this channel. So let's ride on. So it's time to add sound effects and music to our slideshow. So click on audio. I have some sound effects here. If you don't have, you can get some, but that's not necessary anyway. That's option, but it adds more flavor to it. So drag and drop the sound effects and make sure you align it with the transition. So do the same to all the transition one after the other. So do the same thing for all the other images, but make sure they are aligned with the transition all right guys i think our video is ready we can make some adjustment just go through it and make any necessary adjustment let's add background music to it so drag and drop any music of your choice so go through it and make sure the sound is just okay cut the inner part you don't want When you're done making all the necessary adjustments, the next thing you need to do is to smash that subscribe button. Oh, smash that export button, I mean. And here is our final product. Check it out. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, share it with your friends, and leave a comment below. Tell us what you think about the video. And if there's any video you want us to work on, you should leave it in the comment below. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.